So in this video, I will explain to you how uh, converting conventional LNG carrier to FSA. We have new built uh, FSA vessels. They come with all the equipment, and we have some vessels that are converted from uh, normal LNG carrier, membrane or most type to FSL. So we go through all the details, uh, what they add as modules, what they do for the equipment. So now we are in the Hyundai uh, booth. We have this uh, FSLU 174 uh, cubic meter converted to LNG carrier. So of course, FSLU means uh, regasification. So in the normal LNG carrier, we don't have regasification. So this is the regasification unit that is installed in the uh, force station. Uh, basically, it takes LNG and uh, turn it to, to gas using the glycol water. Uh, the glycol water is supplied by uh, separate, uh, separate equipment, not the same glycol water supplied for the coffer dam. Uh, it evaporates the gas and the yellow pipes, it goes to the manifold and then it's a short. So the LNG is taken from the LNG tanks uh, via uh, separate pump. This pump is installed inside the emergency uh, uh, pump. It is installed there for each cargo tank and the rate is 500 cubic meter per hour and it's sent to this uh, section gram module and stored there and then the regasification unit will take the gas or retake the LNG from this uh, section yeah. gram module.